So I got a couple of emails over the past uh, several months, people asking about ohms and wattages with their amplifiers and how many speakers can hook up to their amplifier without having any problem. Well, this is just a short little uh, video to go over the ohms because it's really all about load so much, not so much about the speakers. Anyway, here we go. Okay, what we need to understand is as the ohm level changes, so will the wattage of the amplifier. Okay, in this chart here, we're looking at the ohm level on the left, the amplifier wattage on the right. If you notice, 2 ohms is a heavy load, 16 ohms at the top of the list there is a light load. And depending upon the ohm level that is presented at the amplifier, the amplifier is going to adjust its wattage to accommodate for the load level. So basically saying the heavier the load, the more wattage an amplifier is going to put out. Now this is up to a point. You don't want to use anything that's a 1 ohm load. Uh, there aren't too many amplifiers that can support 1 ohm. So let's take a look at our amplifier again. Most amplifiers can do 2, 4, and 8 ohms. Obviously stereo. Uh, many amplifiers can do 8 and 4 ohms in the bridge mode. Uh, not too many in 2 ohm. But this will give us a good idea of what we're looking at. Always remember that the amplifier doesn't care how many speakers are attached whether it's in stereo or bridged mode. An amplifier is not going to care. It's never really about the number of speakers. What it's about is the ohm load that is present at the output terminals on the amplifier. Now ohms is really a load, but it's not just a speaker that makes up the ohm level. The speaker wire gauge, 16, 14, 12 gauge, 10 gauge, the lower the gauge number, the better off you are. The speaker wire length, that's very important, especially when you're running bass frequencies. Um, shorter speaker runs uh, generally produce a lot better bass signal. The quality of speaker connections on the amp and the speaker, you don't want any stranded wires touching anything. You want a good solid connection. And then lastly, the ohm level of speaker itself. All these things make up the load that the amplifier sees. All right, so basically, what is ohms? Ohms is load. That's all it is. The load is the speakers that you have attached to your amplifier. It's basic as that. So the speakers, the load, is, is going to equal any one of these ohm levels. That's all you've got to look at is the ohms. Once again, the amplifier does not care how many speakers are attached. What's important is the load that it sees. So the amplifier, it's not going to know how many watts it needs to put out based upon the number of speakers. It's always based on the load that it sees. 2, 4, 8, 16 ohms. It's all based on load. So what is the total load in ohms that you can put on to a amplifier channel when you're using more than one speaker? Well, it's fairly simple to figure out. And basically, you're going to take the ohm level of the speaker divided by the number of speakers that you have per channel. So as long as the ohm levels are the same of all the speakers, and they should be, as long as the ohm level is the same, you can take the ohm level of the speaker divided by the number of speakers. So that's either per channel or if you're running your amplifier and bridge. So when you're wanting to know how many speakers you can attach to your system, you need to look at it from the ohm level of each speaker. So two 8 ohm speakers attached to your system that's per channel or bridged mode. So in other words, you've got two 8 ohm speakers, let's say, hanging off of channel A. That's going to give you 4 ohms. Two 4 ohm speakers, that's going to get you down to 2 ohms, which is the maximum load that a lot of amplifiers can handle. But three 8 ohm speakers is going to get you 2.6 ohms, and four 8 ohm speakers is going to get you down to 2 ohms. So just remember when you're looking at these ohm levels, these can be either per channel or in a bridged configuration. Looking back at our amplifier example and the wattages and ohms that you see, hopefully you'll have a better understanding that it really doesn't matter the number of speakers that you have attached to your amplifier, but what's more important is how much of a load you're placing on that amplifier. I hope this helped, and good luck.